Okay, we are live. Hello, hello. Um, we are live on Facebook. I'm going to probably post this to YouTube too. Uh, Ed A. Kirst here. And if you've seen me lately, you'll know I just got my first haircut since the pandemic started. So uh, it feels good. Uh, anybody who's known me a long time knows I used to have a really long hair, but I've worn it short for quite a while. And so it's nice to have my first pandemic haircut. So um, anyway, I wanted to talk about imperfect action today um, and, and what it can do if you wait for perfect action and you'll never get anything done. I've had a couple of conversations in the last week about this. And then today I got in my email uh, an email for, from Seth Godin. Uh, he does a blog, which is fantastic, by the way. If you're not subscribed to it, I highly recommend it. And I wanted to cover a little bit of that today. So let me share, I'm going to share my screen here and show his, well, maybe I won't. Yeah, here we go. Let's show his uh, blog and I'll kind of read this a little bit and then we'll talk about it for just a minute or two. Uh, if I can actually find the window that has his blog, here we go. So um, today it says the simple cure for writer's block. Let me get rid of my picture so that this is. Oops, sorry, I removed my sound. Let's do it that way. Okay. Uh, anyway, see, imperfect action, right? Um, the simple cure for writer's block. I want to read this because this does not just talk about writing, but it's it's just really good on this. The simple cure for writer's block, write. All right. And that's typical Seth advice, right? Uh, very simple, very to the very, you know, to the point, right? People with writer's block don't have a, a problem typing. They have a problem living with bad writing, imperfect writing, writing that might expose something that they fear. The best way to address this isn't to wait to be perfect, because if you wait, you'll never get there. The best way to deal with it is to write and to realize that your bad writing isn't fatal. Like all skills, we improve with practice and with feedback. So let me, um, let me pop my face back in there again. Um, actually, we'll do it uh, that way, and we'll go back through here. So, you know, the, the solution, of course, if you're blocked on taking any action is to take action, okay? Like he says, a simple cure for writer's block, right? And that goes for anything that we're doing, right? Whether you're, you're worried about doing a Facebook Live, whether you're worried about getting a new sales page up, whether you're creating a product and you're not sure, you know, if you've got all of the I's dotted and T's crossed, it doesn't matter what you're doing. The cure for it is to take action. And, you know, Seth says that people don't have a problem typing if they have writer's block. They have a problem living with, you know, bad results. And the reality is, is no result is going to be as bad as not doing anything at all. OK, um, take that imperfect action. So what if your writing is bad? So what if it's imperfect? Um, you know, so what if it exposes something you might fear? That's one way to grow is to, you know, face your fears and dive into them. And I know that doesn't make it easy to do, but the cure really is to take action. Um, and I love this next line from Seth. The best way to address this isn't to wait to be perfect, because if you wait, you'll never get there ever, ever, ever. Um, I saw that a, a lot of times. I, I've been in marketing online for a long time. I've been in a lot of groups. I've been in a lot of masterminds. And all of the people that I see that are successful today and that are still around and doing their thing got there by taking imperfect action. They just said, you know what? I don't know if this is good enough, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so just get out there and do it. If you're thinking about starting a blog, do it. If you're thinking about creating a piece of software, do it. If you're thinking about doing your face first Facebook Live, do it. Uh, you know, wh whatever it is that you want to do, just get out there and do it. And you know, what Seth says here at the end, like all skills, we improve with practice and with feedback. Just do it and you'll get good. If, you know, your first live is horrible and you mess it up and you can't remember what you're talking about, you do like I did earlier, you know, you, you cut the sound out. Um, okay, hey, it happens. Um, but learn from it. You know, that's how you grow. You improve with practice and then with feedback. Ask people, hey, how did I do? What could I have done better? Did you like this? Didn't you like it? What did you like about it? You know, talk to people. Um, after you've done something and you've put something out there and take that feedback and um, apply it, you know. So that's really it. That's all I wanted to, to talk to you all about today. Um, just take that imperfect action. Get out there. Put yourself out there. Do it. Um, and then do it consistently. And you'll you'll be very pleased with 
what can happen from that. Anyway, that's it. That's all I had to share today. Um, I don't see any comments over here, but I'm on StreamYard, so I may not see any from my uh, from my actual page. And if there are any, I'll address them later. So have a great day and get out there. And if you're thinking about doing something, just go do it. Take that imperfect action and astound yourself with the results. Take care. Have a great day.